Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Samson on the side, my husband, and uh, we're just uh, riding on our way to the mountains. Um, but I wanted to come on this afternoon and just uh, give a few words of encouragement and enlightenment. Um, my prayer is that uh, God would use me to say some words that would help um, whoever listens and will enlighten um, people and kind of give us an idea of what is going on uh, and, and, and just plain old everyday life not just what's going on in the world but what's going on in life um i have reason to believe and know in the depths of my heart with every fiber of my being that when we make the decisions the right decisions uh, to to change ourselves and live according to the owner's manual my God, the owner's manual, we will live a life that would be not only pleasing unto God, but productive, productive in um, every aspect, in every arena of life. Um, we will never come to the place of perfection until we uh, see the Lord Jesus as promised uh, in the word of God, but to make the decision first to say, the change is going to start with me. As Joshua said, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And I, I, I'm not trying to knock anybody or, or, or tear anybody down. That is not my intent. But when the truth is revealed that's what sets us free and we have um gotten to the place of a cornered frustrated roach excuse my language roach that, that we're just doing anyway anything to get the dodge thing we, we just doing anything to dodge what's set before us and what's set before us is uh, the, 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 the submission that to submit to the authority and the right authority and say, this is the truth. And this is, this is what it is. This is it's, it's exactly what it is. And there's nothing else. The truth is what's going to set us free. And so, uh, as we are frustrated and in our corner trying to dodge every uh, go around what is set before us, and what is set before us is uh, good and evil. What is set before humanity, the only race in the world, the human race, the only race in the world, the human race, and the human race is either got two decisions you got one or the other and that is to be on the side of good or to be on the side of evil to be on the side of dark or be on the side of light to be on the side of god or be on the side of the devil there ain't no in between there ain't no gray area we're living in the last days i'm sorry the the, the illusion of a gray area no longer exists it never did, but because we have delusions of grandeur, we can pretend that we're never, never land or wherever we want to be. Or if we click our heels, we'll be in Kansas somewhere. I'm here to tell you that there's only two sides. We got to pick a side. There ain't no other way around this. Uh, uh, this is where the rubber meets the road. There's no other way around this. So now we're in this uh, frustrated state and and because we're we're fighting with our pride and fighting uh, with uh, this or that and 
the other. Uh, uh, we're, we're refusing to see what's really going on. It's not black or white. It's not, uh, 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 you kicked my dog, I killed your cat. It's none of those things. It's good and it's evil. Period. This has been the issue from the beginning of humanity. When God created uh, uh, Adam and Eve, he had created Adam and Eve and he set uh, the, these things before them, life and death, even though Moses talked about it in Deuteronomy, it started from the very day one. He told Adam and Eve, he told Adam, the man, he said, listen, I got this garden. I got things for you to do. You till the ground, well, not till the ground, but you just ma manage the garden and you produce. And he said, but one thing you don't do, you don't mess with this, this, this tree of good and evil. Why in the world, in the world, we migrate to that which is evil all the time, all the time. Why? Is because we have a nature that has been given to us by the inner dating of the devil. When he, when, when Adam and Eve had uh, um, disobeyed God, and I could even go as far as before them, because the devil was already inundated. He was already inundated. He had already chose with free will. Free will, the gift of free will that God has given each and every person born to this world and every creature that has been made. Free will. You get to choose what you're going to do. The devil got to choose what he was going to do. And he decided that he wanted to be above God. He decided he didn't want to be under God anymore. He decided that I'm going to be the master of my faith. And so did Adam. And so to do many men and women out here like that right now believe that they can be the master of their own faith. And then when something bad happens, they're looking around like who, who, who and what. You do not have the power nor the ability to fight battles in your flesh. Because see, what happened is people believe that this is just a physical warfare. This is spiritual, baby. These are spiritual warfare. There are something, there's things going around us. There's busy business going on around us that we don't see. And for those of us who believe God and follow the God of this world, uh, 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 that God, the follow the leader that God has sent in this age who is the Holy Ghost when we decide to follow the Holy Spirit and his unctionings then we can learn to see clearly hello thanks for watching please look out for part two have a good day